Hello everyone. Today we will see the different types of slippers. So first we will see what is slipper. Then we will see the comparative classification of slippers. So what is research? Research is the scientific and systematic process of collecting and analyzing information, that is data, in order to increase our understanding of phenomena about which we are concerned or interested. So there are different nature of study, different purpose for research, different design of research, different approaches to research and different field of study. So based on this, we can classify research into the following uh, quantitative, qualitative, descriptive, analytical, applied, fundamental, exploratory, conclusive, conceptual, empirical, and various other types of research. So first we will see the difference between quantitative and qualitative research. In quantitative research, we will be explaining the phenomena by collecting numerical data and analyzing them mathematically using statistical or computational techniques. So here our data will be in the form of numbers and then uh, we will analyze it and process it. So here the data will be more structured and we will be using statistics. For example, for uh, quantitative researches, if you want to um, analyze the number of total number of COVID positive cases in our country or if you want to analyze the total number of negative uh, COVID negative cases. In a particular area. So these and these all are quantitative research. Here our data will be numbers or numerical. Whereas in qualitative, we will be trying to seek answers about why and how people are behaving in a particular way. So here we are analyzing human behavior. We are we will be discovering underlying motives, desires, impressions, opinions views of the people. These, these research is mainly done in motivational research by investigating reasons for a particular human behavior. For example, if you want to know, uh, an example is, suppose we want to find out why people are going out in spite of lockdown yeah, uh, in this uh, pandemic. Uh, so there, there may be many reasons. People are bored, they don't want to sit at home. They, they are depressed or maybe they just want to research, uh, rebel. So these are all qualitative research. So here the data gathered is non-numerical in nature. Next we will see the difference between descriptive and analytical research. Descriptive research is used in social science and business research. It is also known as exposed factor research. You will be describing the state of affairs through surveys and fact-finding inquiries. For example, suppose we want to know what is the status of Kerala under lockdown. So in this describing, we will, be, we, will be, we will also be going into analysis for why it is happening. Here, the question is what is happening? Uh, people are, uh, so many people are negative, so many people are positive for COVID. So here, we don't have any control over the variables. And we will be describing or we will be just uh, investigating the preference of people. Whereas uh, in analytical research, we will be critically evaluating materials or data and we will be analyzing the facts based on or using the data or facts available to us. For example, uh, if we want to know why is Kerala model better than uh, other states uh, for containing COVID, we may be, we, we cannot simply describe uh, the data. Uh, we have to analyze. Maybe because they, uh, we are more stringent in uh, making the, making, uh, making decisions. Maybe we have better uh, doctors and nurses. So here, based on our data, we are analyzing the facts and giving a, a, disc, uh, a picture. So in analytical research, the question is why it is happening. An example is, uh, examining the different causes of cancer is descriptive research. Why is cancer? What are the different causes of cancer? It could be due to smoking, it's uh, not exercising, eating junk food, or it may be due to genetic reasons. These are all descriptive research. Whereas, how smoking causes cancer is analytical. So, here we have to analyze why, what happens when smoke enters the lungs. If it causes 
basal hyperplasia, then basal hyperplasia will be converted to metaplasia, then it will trigger some cancerous muscle, and then neoplasia protein. So here we have to analyze the data. So here what in analytical research we'll be discovering, interpreting, and communicating some meaningful pattern in the data. Whereas in descriptive research we'll be describing the facts. So here the difference is based on the nature of the study. So we will see what is the difference between applied and fundamental research. In applied research, we will be finding solutions to a problem uh, in our society using basic science. So here we are applying the basic science uh, or existing knowledge to practically solve a problem. So here the research is aimed at concluding, uh, drawing conclusions for social and public problems. Whereas in fundamental research, we will be formulating theory, gathering knowledge, finding information that has broad base for application. So here we are improving our scientific theory, improving our understanding of a particular phenomenon. We are trying to fill the gaps in the knowledge. We are trying to learn new things which may or may not have immediate application. For example, fundamental research, pure science. Your, what is photosynthesis? What is respiration? These are all fundamental things, also known as basic or pure science. Whereas uh, applied research examples is making of a invention, making of a drug, making of a machine. These are all application, engineering, uh, biophysics, or uh, engineering studies, medicine. These are all applied sciences. Next, we will see the difference between exploratory and conclusive research. In exploratory research, we will be trying to provide insights into an issue. We will be trying to understand the problem faced by the researcher. It's also known as formulative research. Here, uh, uh, the, ex the researcher will be exploring the uh, exploring or investigating a problem. May not the problem may not be clearly uh, defined or decided. So here we are not trying to uh, attempt to give any final answers or conclusive uh, results. Here the uh, emphasis is on exploring. We are trying to define, we are find, trying to find out and define the problem. But hence it is also known as formulative research. Whereas in conclusive research, the researcher tries to provide specific final conclusive answers to research questions. Here, uh, conclusive research assists decision makers in determining, evaluating, and selecting their course of action. So here, in conclusive research, uh, it is more likely to use statistical tests, uh, advanced analytical uh, techniques. Also, in conclusive research, larger data sa sample size will be used when compared to exploratory research. So here, the difference is, uh, in research is based upon the research design. Exploratory research, uh, just investigating or sub, uh, the problem, whereas in conclusive research, that we need to find out answers or conclusions specific research questions. Now we will see the difference between conceptual and empirical research. Conceptual research is used by philosophers or thinkers. So here, uh, new abstract ideas or concepts will be evolved. Uh, it will be based upon experience of just abstract ideas without regard to theory or system. Whereas in empirical research, data is based on research outcomes with conclusions capable of being verified by either observation or experiment. So here in empirical research, data evidence is gathered to, through experiments or empirical studies. It might be numerical or non-numerical, quantitative or qualitative, whatever. So here, in empirical research, the researcher per performs original exper experiments to provide basis for new theories. One example is, uh, Aristotle is a conceptualist. His uh, theories and all are based on thinking and abstract ideas. Whereas, Galileo is a empirical researcher. He came upon conclusion by using tele uh, telescopes. He made telescopes, he made observations on the planet moment, he jotted down data, and then he made conclusions. So uh, the difference is 
based upon the search approach. Next, we will see other types of research. There is field research. In field research, the researcher will be collecting uh, raw data outside the lab, laboratory or workplace. He will be going out into the real world setting and collecting data. Whereas in laboratory uh, research, uh, the uh, data will be uh, the, that will be controlled setting inside the laboratory in, uh, in a controlled setting. Uh, the data will be collected. Uh, next is cross-sectional and longitudinal research. So one time uh, research. In one time or cross-sectional research, the data from a population or representative subject is collected at one time. So it is also known as transverse or prevalence study. Whereas in uh, of longitudinal research, the data is gathered over a long time. So same subjects repeatedly over a long period of time, even it may extend to decades. So there are def uh, several time points of data collection within the same sample or within the same structure. An example is cohort study. Next, we will see the difference between multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary. In multidisciplinary, the, uh, if an individual collaborates with a team, this is outside its discipline. For example, if a biology team and engineering team collaborates, then it becomes multidisciplinary research. Whereas in interdisciplinary research, the individual researcher or the team will collaborate with members within the same academic discipline. Next is conclusion-oriented and decision-oriented. In conclusion-oriented, uh, uh, the researcher picks up a problem, redesigns the inquiry, proceeds and conceptualizes, uh, and he makes conclusions. Whereas in decision-oriented research, there is a need of decision-maker and the researcher in this case is not free to uh, research upon his inclination. He, ha he has been given a um, question and he has to decide whether which path to follow. So that is research-oriented, sorry, decision-oriented. Next, there are also research related to various fields. In historical research, critical inquiry into the past events is made in order to produce accurate description and interpretation of that event, the battle is, uh, uh, the battle, uh, what happened, what is the pre and post analytical era, and uh, interpretation is based on the, those events. Whereas in business research, there is detailed study of all areas of business, stock market, uh, business product, all these things, detailed studies of all areas of business comes under business research. Whereas in market research, uh, we determine the viability of a new service or product, the sales of the product, the purchase of the product. All these are determined in market research. Whereas in social research, research is done to learn about people and society so that they can design products and services that cater to the various needs of the population or the society. In medical research, deals with Disease trends, risk factors, outcome of a treatment, public health intervention, functional abilities, patterns of care, health care, cost, use, etc. So all these come under medical research. Medical research can again be divided into diagnostic, clinical, and epidemiology. In diag diagnostic research, will be involved with dealing with uh, the detection and prevention of disease. In clinical research, is medical research involving people. Whereas epidemiological research is medical research that determines or invo that involves determining the disease pattern in a particular population. Again, this can be divided into basic or experimental, interventional, non-interventional research, or, uh, research in relevant or cohort studies. All these things can, comes under medical research. So this is the summary. There are various types of research uh, based upon uh, the, whether it is numerical or non-numerical, we call quantitative, we classify it as qualitative and quantitative. Then there is research classification based upon the nature of the study, which is descriptive and analytical. Then based upon the purpose of study, it is classified as applied and fundamental. Based upon the research design, it is uh, divided as or conclusive research. Based upon the approach of study, it is classified.
provided as conceptual and empirical then various other research market research is there medical research is there business research social research all these things so these are the reference thank you